or as the islanders would describe, a proper sort you have a connection with, someone who is 100% your type on paper that you can see things working within the outside world. The point of Love Island is, of course, to find the one. But just as it seems like someone is about to put all their eggs in one basket one catchphrase changes everything, it is, I'm happy, but I could be happier. It seems like couples are breaking up due to the sentiment left, right and center. We're talking Dr. Alex George and Alexandra Kane to Jack Fowler and Laura Anderson so, how much weight does it really hold? Official OK. Online Love Island expert James Pre spoke exclusively about the saying. The dating guru coined this attitude as one of the biggest problems with dating. James said, it's the fear that the grass might be greener somewhere else. The more options you have then the less likely you are to put the effort in to make it work. This is called the paradox of choice and why people are often single. If they are always looking to upgrade their partner and wondering what might happen with someone else, they can't be truly happy. James added, sometimes in life you have to stick rather twist if you want to be lucky in love. The phrase first came into action when Wes Nelson called things off with Laura after Megan Barton Hansen confessed she fancied him. Josh Denzel then had his head turned from Georgia Steele to Kazimir Crossley in Casa Amor under the same pretense. In more recent scenes, those same boys tried to convince New Jack that he too could be happier as he had on to surfer Laura Crane. Meanwhile Alex, who has been unlucky in love in the villa overall, finally found a girl who he had a genuine connection with. Alexandra. But when two new single girls waltzed in, it didn't take him long to tell her he wasn't ready to be exclusive.